and it's exactly what it sounds like, a TV channel for dogs. No, really. And the CEO of Dog TV, Gilad Newman, joins us now to discuss how the programming can help pooches with separation anxiety, hyperactivity, and dog boredom. Welcome, Thanks, Gilad. So great to Thanks have you here. So my dog, who already has the life, now even has a TV channel specifically for her. Where did this idea come from? So the idea comes from a concept that's been around for so many years, since the 80s. Um, dogs spend so many hours a day every, uh, at home every day. They're lonely, they're bored. Um, some of them are really stressed. And uh, veterinarians and uh, leading organizations said, why don't we use TV as a stimulator, as something to relax them and help them? And what we've done is really tap into this idea and created a channel that is 100% for dogs. For dogs, content is developed just for dogs. So is this an example of some of the pro programming you'll see on Dog TV? Yes, this is actually stimulation, um, which helps dogs to uh, uh, you know walk around, get a little stimulated. The, it's not good for them to sleep for too many hours a day. Right. They want them relaxed, but not too relaxed. So they'll watch this and they enjoy watching other dogs. Yes, they specifically love other dogs. That's probably their favorite um, animal to watch. Fascinating. I'm um, not crazy about dog. I mean, about cats. Um, <laughs> You've tried that, the cat yeah, programming, yeah, and they get don't get them a little they, excited. That gets, uh, um, but, but dogs, they like. Yes, and that gets them stimulated. Of course, uh, there's no barking. We don't want them to get too excited. Uh, but definitely, a lot of dogs. Uh, the music is very important to relaxing, calm music. Uh, is this calibrated for their eyesight? Yes, dogs see the world differently. Um, it's not just the, the fact that they're shorter, so their point of view is a little different. They see more frames per second, so the way that we move the camera on screen there is different. There you go, so dog vision is It's on... mostly color that you see here. Oh, um, dogs are colorblind, so they see blue-yellow. They don't see red and green. And we basically enhance their experience by injecting colors into the process of post-production to make it more interesting. And so you say that there's science behind all of this. Absolutely. We spent uh, um, the first three years basically uh, uh, doing research um, based on science. We have a great advisory board of experts, vets, and behaviorists, and trainers. Um, and we really created a package of content that is 100% compatible for their specific senses. So the idea is I go to work. I leave my dog in their crate or in a room with this TV running all day long. Yes, and, and it's important to say we're not going to ask our dogs to sit there for six or eight hours. Of course, And anyway, eat popcorn yeah. and watch TV. Right. We don't want to create couch potatoes. Um, they will use that as a tool um, that's more of an atmosphere or environment for them, um, enriching their environment and giving them something to focus on, to relax, sometimes stimulate, um, and have a better time when they spend so many hours alone. So there aren't shows. There's just programming like this and music that just continues to play. That's true. The, the programs are definitely um, somewhere between four and seven minutes long, each short program. Oh, okay. But they are programmed into blocks. And then uh, do you have commercials blocks. in between? No commercials yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the dogs come home and say, hey, I really like that new dog food that exactly. I saw on TV today. So we're well. working on ways to yeah. uh, getting them to ask their parents for something specific. But until we do that, it's strictly content for dogs. Right. Uh, and and you're know. launching on Comcast. Congratulations. Yes. You're already on another, a couple other platforms platforms already. Right. How are the ratings doing? Um, well, we are a subscription channel. Okay. Uh, we're very happy with uh, the amount of subscribers that we have, and we are, um, you know, very glad to have uh, Comcast Xfinity um, join the uh, Dog TV uh, distribution network today because it's a very important player, and we're uh, looking forward to being in so many more homes and uh, helping so many more dogs to. And what's uh, the critical response from the uh, owners? Do they do they have good feedback for you? The dog uh, well, owners? most owners love Dog TV. Yeah. Uh, I would say that the most uh, typical response would be, "My dog is not watching." Yeah. Um, and we would have to educate them and explain that dogs do watch, but they're very different. They don't watchers. sit there and stare exactly. at the screen. Exactly. They use that as a tool. It's it's an environment. Mm -hmm. It's something that helps them cope with uh, boredom and loneliness. Which you say is the number one uh, cause of dog misbehavior is boredom and loneliness? Well, yes. Yeah, separation anxiety uh, uh, causes a lot of uh, uh, behavioral problems, and we help reduce that by uh, uh, exposing them to uh, content that makes them feel more comfortable and relaxed. Does it work for cats, too, or you haven't done that? Well, we, we have so many videos that people share with us of their cats watching dog TV. <laughs> yeah, so that uh, maybe it on, does. <laughs> uh, but on the scientific level, it's strictly for dogs. So, so I've learned something there. Cats will watch dogs, but dogs will not watch cats. <laughs> I guess so. All right, Gilad, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you for me. Movie night with your dog. That's Absolutely. next, right? Yep. Thanks.